Hey guys, welcome back to Outdoors Army. Today I'm going to show you something uh, new uh, that we're going to be putting on our website. This is a uh, part that slides right over the Air Force uh, line of air guns. Like this one here. I believe this is the Talon or the Condor. This just easily slides right over this. And then you just slide it on. I just want to show you a little bit about it. So you got uh, Picatinny rails, uh, four of them. And it's a it's a compressed fit, so when you slide it on, it, it's it's like you slide it on and it won't come off. So this is a uh, it's got four Picatinny rails, uh, one on each side and on top, obviously. And then I left it open because I'm going to give you the option of installing another piece will slide over. So for those that don't want it too long, so this if you slide it over it would stop about right here. So you got about five six inches about five inches over here. Uh, and that will make it pretty quiet. It's pretty quiet. I'm gonna go run over some numbers with this uh, What is a des Desmo reader? Uh, this fell so then if you want to add on to it and make it even more quiet You just slide this piece over and uh, that'll give you an extra four inches and then this cap caps it off All right, we're back to do a sound test on the Air Force um, adapter that I made so this gives you the Picatinny rails. Um, here's one without the um, uh, moderator part in front of it. Here's one with the moderator. So this is four and a half inches worth of moderator you get. And then you can add this extension to this for another four and a half inches. Well, measure it. This, this extension is four inches. This is four and a half inches. So you can add this on for even more sound so we'll see what kind of sound difference it makes that's what we're here for we're gonna try this one so let's do the air force first by itself this is gonna be loud I'm gonna stand about a foot behind the the meters right here and I have it on max so that was pretty loud let me try it one more time So you got 114.3. Now we're gonna add this. And you just slide it on. And there it goes, and that doesn't come off. If you, I mean, you can really, that ain't coming off. So here we are with the uh, same spot about right here. It's way different. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but it's. Oh, I didn't even pick it up because it's at max. I'm gonna have to do that again. So I have it on max setting, so it just picks up like the highest sound. It's a huge difference, though. 109 seems like it'd be a lot more than that, but it's a huge difference. I'm gonna have to come back to take this cap off and then put this part on it. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back. I had to take off that piece, so I'm going to put this part on. So this is an extension, again, 4-inch extension, which you just slide down. I like to put it flat down, and then you can't probably see this, but there you go. It's on straight now, and this does not come off, and it's straight. you got to make sure that the gaps are straight on. I, like I said, I push it down flat, push down on it, and there you go. Slide this over this piece. So now you have a longer um, uh, shroud. It's a longer shroud now. And this makes a huge difference on sound. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on the audio, but there we go. Here we go. About right here. That's much quieter. Uh, that was 101. I think you can see here. 101. Again, I'm going to put these on the website. Um, so I'll have this one, which is this Picatinny Rails, no no um, shroud install on it. Then this piece is a Picatinny Rail with a four and a half inch shroud. And there's four screw holes here. There's screw holes right here for them so you can screw on to this piece so it holds it in place. But again, it's not necessary. Or this piece, which would be capped off here. There we go. Here we go. About right here. That's much quieter. Uh, that was 101. I think you can see here, 101. Anyways, if you guys are interested, check out my website. 
uh, www.bravo3d.com. Um, subscribe to my email there so that you can stay informed of stuff that I'm making. Uh, that way, when and I also offer discounts, um, sales, and uh, just different stuff I'm working on, so you can so you know what's coming next. I appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up. Also, share uh, this video with your friends. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how this uh, goes on the gun. It's really simple. I might fall out of frame here because you kind of it goes on like that, and then you really have to push down on it even kind of slap it until it stops it'll stop and this ain't coming off like you can't you can't get this off you have to really you got to like step on the gun to remove it again if it doesn't slide on easily you can use a blow dryer i like to use a blow dryer because some guns they're different than other guns different sizes the plastic isn't exactly the same size so if you just get a blow dryer and warm it up it slides on and same thing to remove it you have to it's easier to warm it up so this is on there pretty good. And so, like I said, this leaves about four inches to five inches. And then you have a, there's a cap, not a cap, but a, uh, there's a, um, what do you call this? Like a baffle that's about three inches in. So here, I'll show you how far down it goes. It goes in about two inches and that's a baffle. And then for those that want a longer piece, I have this adapter, which is another four inches, five inches. This is about five inch adapter that slides right on. I don't want to put it on because once you put it on, it's really hard to come off. Ideally, if you're just going to keep the gun, the 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 moderator like this, I would glue it in place. I would just use like Elmer's glue just to glue it in place. You don't have to because once you slide this on, it really won't come off. I'm not going to slide it down because I don't want to leave it on. But uh, it you also have, if you don't want the adapter, you just have a cap. You just cap it off. And here is your cap, and that would cap it off just slide it all the way down till it flushes out uh, I'm also making these which are just rails so that if you don't want the moderator you just want rails to put like a Picatinny rail that's what I uh, that's the reason why I made this so I could attach the something like this and then now you have uh, a nice little handle and go down oh another thing that I did is I don't know if you can tell, but I moved this piece. It was it was you, it was up here actually. I moved it back. I used that that screw that holds this um this like uh I don't know what this is. It's just a little uh, steel piece they have. I just moved it back, and now it's right towards the uh, trigger, and it allows me to slide this piece all the way down, and then it allows me to have this here. You can also just take this off. I I kind of like it better without it because you got this anyways. I I put this here for that. But it gives you the ability to put stuff on, obviously, like a, a flashlight. That's that's my biggest thing. I like to have flashlights on my setups. Here, I'll put this flashlight on real quick. So now you have a flashlight. Well, this feels on the other side. Kind of like that. That's cool. I like that. But then for those that shoot, like... Uh, that shoot um, ventrist with these. It also allows you to put one of these on here. And this is really nice and stable. It allows you to put it on a on a rest, so you can slide it on your bag. It's on your bag, ready to go. You just put this like that, and you have a nice stable uh, bag rider. So. Yeah, these are going to be on the website on uh, bravo3d.com. That's www.bravo3d.com. Uh, the adapter, this is going to be like a, a, an extra uh, space, uh, space if you want to call it, spacer. That goes on like that. And then if you don't want that, if you just want it like the way that it is in that manner, then you would get a cap. And there is a baffle inside of here, so it does science the gun, uh, make the gun more quiet. This adapter would go on. And again, once you just slide it on, uh, there's also this version that doesn't have, it's just so you can attach it, whatever you want on your on your rails. So that would just go like that and you wouldn't get this piece. Um, I'll put them on the website. Uh, as if you guys are watching this video, they should already be up on the website and uh, you can order them on there. I have other stuff on there for like the Hooban Air Guns and I'm gonna be making more stuff for different guns. I plan on making like a, uh, I want to make like a thumb piece that'll let you cock the gun from here instead of having your thumb in here. I wanted to cock from this side. I'll probably make a trigger and I am going to make 
a different grip adapter and a and a spacer excuse me a, a spacer that will let you attach a uh, uh, a different grip like the AR plat the AR platform grips um, I'm probably gonna make a different um, uh, what do you call this for front end uh, I, I, I think uh, there's a lot of room for improvement on that I'm gonna be making a bunch of 3d printed stuff so keep an eye on my website join my Facebook um, Bravo 3d is my Facebook uh, check out my YouTube videos to stay on um, and subscribe to my email because I'll send out emails for specials or deals and also like what I'm what I'm working on what's coming up next so yeah thanks for watching the video I appreciate it and uh, if you can give me a thumbs up